I also got Helldivers 2 Escalation of Freedom announcement trailer. Let's start the video. Let's go. Now, I am a few days late. Best believe a lot of things that I'm late to are going to get uploaded today. And that's my B. That's my bad. Since launch, we've improved up, Helldivers Han? quite significantly what together up, with you, the community. We've released a lot of content, such as the flyers, the TCS missions, wait, wait, wait. When I release the this? destruction of an entire planet. This time around, we've got something special prepared for you. It's our first step out of many where we're gonna expand the game in big, meaningful ways. Okay. New game modes, new objectives, new enemies, and even a whole new like difficulty. Like a thing out of uh, Terminator. So that, we have to escalate it. An escalation of freedom. Oh, no. Right, let's go, let's go. Let's break this down. When freedom escalates, its opponents escalate. Face me, foes. We're bringing back a fan favorite from Helldivers 1. Oh, no. The oh! The tentacled beast known as the Impaler. Impaler? Oh, no. Oh, no! When you're playing against the Terminids, you can always try and run away. The Impaler ruins that plan. They will maybe cut off your escape route, and then you will probably have to stay and fight. Or you can fight the tentacles. The Spore Charger. This one has fog traveling around it. Oh, no. It's constantly moving, so it's gonna come right out of the fog and scare the lights out of you. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm the about automatons to wait. The are bringing in artillery. A big tank that shoots rockets. Ooh, I like that. further away, you can see it. Oh, wait, no, no, it's shooting at me? Oh, I don't like fire it. fire rockets in the air, so you'll have a barrage coming down on you. Why are they dropping precision airstrikes on us? Heavier, more deadly brood commanders. With a small twist, the allies that it spawn will not be the ones that you're used to. What do you mean? Endure a bigger Difficulty challenge. 10 has more enemies than we've had before on lower difficulties. We've really ramped it up. It's meant to feel like a real progression from 9 to 10. We're also introducing Bro, a larger overload. type of outpost, and it's going to be a real challenge to take on these massive fortresses. Okay. But if you manage to do so, there will be great rewards waiting for you. Okay, what's the rewards? Explore and accomplish. Of course. Okay. What would the galaxy be without planets? True. Makes sense. Therefore, we wanted to spook it up with a new version of the swamp environment. Man, that looks like a scary swamp, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. It looks nice, though. Like, graphically, it looks really nice. The acid storm weather effect now comes with a new mechanic. It reduces the armor of enemies and hell divers alike. You'll do a lot more damage, but you also take more in return, uh, which is okay. just as horrifying. Hey, as I like that trade-off. I like that trade-off. Okay, I can do that. In Escalation of Freedom, we have new objectives come in, like the Retrieve Larva mission. Man, they got a lot coming in. I kind of like this. With a uh, little crying larva that you need to reach the extraction with. But you we also got have to be actual careful missions because out here. Okay. it's going to be crying a lot and you're getting swarmed by more and more terminates. Oh, no. Bro, how do we shut the thing up? Gotta uh, give it its pacifier. That's it. Ew, 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 ew. The war continues. Okay. With the second galactic war in full swing, Super Earth is currently battling the automatons and the bugs Sniper. for control of the Milky Way. The Automaton Legion, they are constantly building bigger and worse war machines. Yeah, bro, that's, a, that's a big uh, machine, I'm gonna be honest with you. seem to be changing. There's also been some irregular readings of the Terminid spores in the various sectors where the Terminids are spreading. And we will see where the story develops from here. Okay. Bro, they gotta, so bro, have we they told you lot. everything that's gonna be in the Escalation of Freedom? Of course we haven't. We have many more surprises in store for you. A surprise here and there that you maybe didn't expect. Uh -huh. On August 6th, I'm ready to dive, and I hope you are too. Okay. Bro, we got a whole Terminator in here, bro. PlayStation! All right, now. First of all, shout out to like, the whole Helldivers crew. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Now, the first time this game did come out, I was really excited about it. I mean, to me, like, the funniest part definitely was, <laughs> definitely was the bugs. Uh, like, the actual bugs. Not these bugs. Like, the actual bugs like, and the glitches and stuff like that. That was, like, definitely, like, the funniest part of the game. But um, just gameplay-wise, I thought it was really fun. Um, for me, like, Helldivers, like, I can only play the game whenever, like... 
I feel like Helldivers is only fun for me when I can only play it just to play it, not play it like competitively, like competitively, competitively. Um, I can't really play it on like a on like a try hard mode, but like if I'm just by myself or whatever, I would just like kick back, relax, and just play the game. I think the game is actually pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, I almost forget that Hell Divers actually came out this year. Um, it felt like the game came out last year. I don't know why, but like maybe it's just because like we haven't had like a well, I haven't seen like a, a like an update besides like them adding in like like a like a new gun or whatever. Um, but listen, if they have uh, added updates, I've just been late. That's my bad for missing out. I will never do that again. We're here. Um, I am like a day late, but I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I do like that they added in like uh, like they said they added in uh, new enemies, new bosses, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. This this little uh, this little antler boss, whatever, like like the like the antler boss that that keeps you from running away. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a nice idea, but I'm I'm gonna keep it real. If it gets too hard, I'm quitting. Uh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, they added in new planets and stuff like that. They added like new locations and swamps and stuff like that. I'm gonna be honest with you, Hell Divers. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm digging it out, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about a lot of the new updates that we literally just heard before? I'll probably say my favorite one has to be like uh, like the, like this new location right here. Looks really nice. And then they're adding like they're adding in like new. Uh, I don't know what this is at the end of the video. I don't know what this is. This is like some type of like thing out of that Terminator. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this right here. Um, and I, I'm just glad that they're you know continuing to play the game. They uh, you know that they added more up, uh, updates because if I'm being honest with you, um, like I enjoyed Hell Divers, but I can't lie to you, I, I kind of did forget, um, you know that the that the game was out. Turns out the game is still out. They're adding in, in more updates. So shout the Hell Divers. Um, on to the next one, bro. I got Call of Duty later today. Um. I got some Batman videos later today. It's like short little Batman videos. Bro, that Mr. Freeze for Suicide Squad, I still got to react to that. Um, we got a lot of more videos to react to. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, I'll see you guys in the future videos. And...